to thy God, always now and ever unto the age of the ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, guard everywhere present and fill us all things, treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy might, and holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. How beloved are thy dwellings, O Lord of hosts. My soul longeth and thanketh for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle dove a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they that dwell in thy house unto ages of ages, shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee, he hath made a sense in his heart, in the veil of weeping, in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the lawgiver will give blessings, they shall give him strength to strength, the God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer, give ear, O God of Jacob. O God, our defender, behold and look upon the face of thine anointed one, for better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners, for the Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that holdeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all their wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us unto the ages, or wilt thou draw up thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation that thou give unto us. I will hear that the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely in I of them that fear him is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is from out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness in our land, shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before men, shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down thy ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that holdeth in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee I lift up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction, if I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty hath sought after my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering, and plenteous, and mercy and truth. Look upon me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign and be good, and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast told me and comforted me. 
Where can we assign them to do them with them that hate me? Behold and be put to shame, for thou, O Lord, hast called for me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Great is the wonder of faith, the seven holy youths of God in the cave is in the royal chamber and died without falling into corruption. And after much time they arose as from sleep, as an assurance of the resurrection of all men. Through their supplications of Christ, God, have mercy on us. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who for our sake was born of a virgin, and did suffer crucifixion of the one, and didst despoil death by death, and as God didst reveal the resurrection, this day nothing which thou hast fashioned with thy hand, show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one, except that they have who gave thee birth and interceded for us, and who thou our Savior, save the despairing people. Deliver us not, O Lord, for thy holy name's sake, neither dissemble thou thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us, for Abraham's sake, thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. the kingdom, and the Father, and the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Spurning the corrupt things of this world and accepting gifts of incorruption. Though they died, yet did they remain unchecked, unchecked by corruption. Wherefore they arose after many years, bearing all the unbelief of the wicked, O ye faithful, praising them today in laudation. Let us him Christ. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified in Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and hast mercy on sinners, who callest all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers of this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about thy holy angels that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and the uncompare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very day of the day that we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Who well, be gracious unto us, and bless us, and God that is to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even unto this present, I will pour down this time upon the life living tree, and didst commit the way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death didst destroy death. Be gracious unto us, sinners, and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed iniquity. And are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven, for we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake, for our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary, and forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal mind, 
that putting aside the old man, we may be clad with the new and live for thee, our master and benefactor, and that thus by following in thy commandments we may attain the rest everlasting, where is the dwelling place of all them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God. And unto thee we send up glory with thine unoriginate Father and thy most holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, always now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down with the backs of our King, God. Come, let us worship and fall down with the backs of himself, our King, God. Bless the Lord of my soul, O Lord, my God, bless the Lord of my soul. Compassion and majesty has thou put on, and coverest thyself with light for the dawn. Who stretches out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supported his chambers in the water, and so appointed the clouds in his ascent, who walked upon the wings of the wind, who made his angels, spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire, who established the earth and the sureness thereof, which shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss, like a garment, is his mantle. Upon the mountain shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down into the place where thou hast established them. Thou pointest the bound that they shall not pass, by the return of the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, in the mountains where the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts and the field and the wild asses away to quench their thirst. <clears throat> Beside them will the birds of the heaven watch in the midst of their rocks, for they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chamber. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow over the cattle and green earth for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth and wine make it glad the heart of man. To make his face cheerful, with oil and bread strengthen with man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied. The cedars of Lebanon, which thou hast planted, there will the sparrows make their nests. The house of the heaven is chief among them. The high mountains are the refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hands. He hath made the moon for season, the sun there with his going down. Thou pointest the darkness in there with the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from the love. The sun arises and they are gathered together and they lay them down and dance. That man shall go forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom as thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. There are things creeping in the middle, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this drag, and thou hast made to pay therein. All things wait on me to give them their food in this season. When thou givest it, then they be gathered. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. But thou wilt take their spirits, and they shall cease, and unto their dust to they return. For thou wilt send forth thy spirits, and they shall be created, and thou shalt be the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord rejoice in his works, who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble and touch the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life, I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto me, and I will rejoice in the Lord. Oh, that sinners would cease in the earth, and may the work in it be that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun now with his going down, now point is the darkness in there with the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom as thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but now and the end of the day of the night. Out of the yard of the yard of the year, glory to thee, O God. Out of the yard of the yard of the year, glory to thee, O God. Out of the yard of the yard of the year, glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. 
Our great and blessed Father, whose holiness makes our career, our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Mark, our Lord, the most reverend Bishop Nicholas, for the venerable priesthood of the diaconate in Christ, for the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commandite, Sarah, the and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For this land, its authority is in armed forces. Let us pray to the Lord. For the God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy monastery, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, and mercy on us, sing, keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Amen. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life into Christ our God. To For unto thee is the all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the foot Lord, I cried unto thee, hearken unto thee, hearken unto thee, O Lord. Of my supplication when I cry unto thee, I can lie to thee, O Lord. Let my prayer be set forth in incense before thee, the lifting of my hands and in many sacrifices, I can lie to thee, O Lord. Set over the water of my mouth and the door of the door and the door of my lips, and find out my heart. Excuses and sins, that men that work in it, the and I will not join with their children. The righteous man will face me with mercy and the truth. As for the light of the sinner, let it not in my hand. For yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasures. All that help me have by the law to their judgment things. They shall hear my words for this reason. As the cloud of earth is broke upon the earth, so the bones and scattered my enemies. Son to you, O Lord, O Lord, my eyes, and give my whole state, not my soul. You from the snare of their way from me and from the stumbling blocks of them that will be committed to thee. And the sinners shall fall into their own net. I am alone until I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried. With my voice unto the Lord have made supplication. How far out before in my supplication, my affliction before him will I declare. When my spirit was fainting within me, the money was my path. In this way, when I have walked away from your snare, I looked upon my right hand, and he held me, was none to know me. I have failed me, and there is none to watch that for my soul. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my hope, thy portion, not thou, and the land of the living. I tend unto my supplication, for I am brought very low. You deliver me from the first give me, if they are strong and high. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may confess thy name. The righteous shall wait patiently from me until thou shalt reward me. I will lift up my cry to thee, O Lord, O Lord, in my voice. Let thy name be attended to the voice of my supplication. Yes, 
sign cheer, and he who will be mine, and let his gaze upon the height of me high. For thy name's sake have I patiently waited for thee, O Lord, my soul, played it patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. Come, let us form a chorus before we head. Let us purify ourselves and faithfully prepare for divine entry into the dwelling place of the transcendent God. And let us receive the glory which the four chosen apostles would thus say to be both mystically on the
hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth. O God, in thy name save me, and in thy strength do my doubt Take to the Lord, our Lord, keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify thy name into the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have opened thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teaching thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, giving the understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, the Holy One, and light me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endure it forever, disdain not the work of thy hands. To be as due praise, to be as due a song, to be glorious to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of the ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening <coughs> prayer unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. That angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian, any to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. All we to remember it's our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, Son of our Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. For a good God art thou, and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of salvation. Peace be unto all, and to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Blessed and most glorified be the dominion of thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the age of ages. Amen. Hear movement with the affordance of the virtues. Let us proceed to the holy mountain, that we may be all the divine transfiguration of the Lord. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other, shining forth today like the sun on the mountain, before undergoing his sufferings. Christ showed to the initiates of his mysteries a divine sign of his divinity. Blessed is the people that know it jubilation. Desiring to transform Adam's nature, Christ now ascendeth Mount Tabor, that he might disclose his divinity to the initiates of his mystery. We will now the same tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, from now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Christ God, who was transfigured in glory on Mount Tabor, and to show the glory of thy divinity to thy disciples, illumine us also with the light of the knowledge of thee, and kindness to the 
Thank <laughs> you. 